In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the front window regulator on a Jaguar XF X250. Uh, that's from 2008 to 2015. Tools you'll need for the job, small flat screwdriver, snips, flat trim tools, a T30, T25 and T20 Torx bits with either a screwdriver or an impact gun. First step, we need to remove the door card panel. To get access to the screws that hold that in place, there's one there, the cover's missing on this one, but there's a T20 there. There's a cover here, just under the door handle. You can use a small flat screwdriver just to get the cover off. There's a T30 there, one on the other side. And one at the back of the door, at the top. Again, using your screwdriver, just pop that little cover off. And pull that away there's a t20 behind there now remove those screws using your flat trim tool start in the bottom corner and just slide it in Pry the door card away and pop the clips off and work around. When all those are popped out, pull it away and lift it up at the top. And that'll pull away from the door. On the back of the door card, there's a few things to undo. First is the cable which runs to the door lock from the door handle. Pop the little white bit out, slide that around and that'll slide up. And there's a few electrical connections. All the tabs just push in and it pulls apart. And then you can remove the panel from the door. To get access to the inner door, we need to remove this panel. First, you need to undo the plugs and move the wiring out of the way. So just work around undoing the plugs and unclipping the wiring from where it's connected to the door. There's eight T25 torque screws that you'll need to remove. When all those are out, that panel will come away, giving you access to the inner door. To remove the glass, you're gonna to need to get it um, in about this position, so you can get to the bottom of it. And the glass is clipped into the regulator. There's a small, like, it's like a white, a clip that you need to get your hand behind and pull it away and pull the glass up and that'll slide out do that on both front and the back and the glass will pull out from the top of the door Now to remove the regulator, uh, the, one of the cables for the regulator is just fastened, tied on there to the wiring inside the door, just snip that. And then there's five T30 bolts, there's one here behind this uh, little cut tape cover. One at the bottom. And on the front, there's another one at the top and a bit of tape. One at the bottom. And one holding the motor in. Oh, that one's a T25. Now 
now remove the regulator from the door starting at the back get that out first and then on the front same again but this time it's got the motor on it it's just got a plug on that you're gonna have to remove there's the plug push the tab in at the top and pull down they are quite tight and then you can remove the regulator from the door the new regulator that we're fitting doesn't come with the motor so we're gonna have to swap that over from the original regulator turn it over and there's three T30 screws holding the motor in When those are out, turn it back over and the motor will just wiggle out of the regulator. When you're ready to fit the motor to the new regulator, cut the cable tie that's holding the reel in place. Fit the motor in. When that's flush, put it up to the regulator and fit the screws back in the same way they came out. And then the third one at the back, don't forget about that one. Also with this regulator, there's a new mounting bracket near the motor uh, that you need to fix on. Use the T30 out of the old one. And fix that in. So it lines up straight. Now the regulator and motor assembly is ready to fit back into the door. Now fit the regulator back into the door. Doing it the opposite way to the force. So put the front in first, swing that in, and the back. Reach inside for the plug, plug that back onto the motor. Now you want to put back in the five screws that hold the regulator and motor in place. Start with the top ones. get those in just get them all in loosely first so you know everything's lined up and you can tighten them up afterwards and there's a t25 where the motor is When they're all in, go round and tighten them all up. Now you're ready to put the glass back in. Now put the glass back in from the top of the door. Put it in so it's fairly level. When it's dropped in, get the front edge in first. And then the back. Make sure when you're putting it in the rubber channels that it's not uh, the rubber's not folded over, and that the glass does slide up and down pretty freely and there's nothing trapped. Let it rest onto the white clips again that it came out of before. You can just see them there. Pull it apart slightly and the glass will slide in. Just do it gradually at the front and the back. 
and then once they're ready to slot in and it's secure you'll hear a click on both of them and that's the glass secure back in the door now you've got a fully working window all you need to do now is refit the inner door card panel um, in the reverse order that it was shown at the start of the video.